here with Robert Cartwright, uh, Flintridge Prep. Uh, Robert, such uh, such an awesome season uh, for you last year. Uh, really got uh, yourself, uh, you know, in in the spotlight. You know, with, as far as travel ball and stuff like that. Really put yourself in position uh, for a great season this year. Talk about the goals that you have uh, individually and where you want to take your game this year. Well, now that I'm a senior, I just want to go out and obviously finish my high school career strong and continue to build as a player and as a person and you know develop the skills and. Um, other things to prepare myself for the college level and uh, I just want to you know get back to the guys you know obviously we're going to be a little bit smaller than we are in previous years so a uh, lot's going to be on my plate and guys are going to need to step up so it's just about being a leader for the guys and uh, working as hard as I can to make a specimen can be. You seem to, rel uh, to relish that opportunity a lot, of, a lot of people say like can somebody be big time at Flintridge Prep and obviously I've seen it in the past with Ramsey's Barden and, and, and Tim Mercer and, and I mean obviously and you're kind of the kind of the next guy what, what I mean but is, is it kind of like the, the the best of both worlds because I mean obviously you're getting the academics you're getting the athletics but you really have a chance to grow not just as a basketball player but as a leader and as a young man in Coach O'Hara's system and at the school in general right no uh, going to Flourish Prep was the best decision I made or could have made for my future um, you know if you didn't get recruited you at least have the great academics um, to get into a great college in that regard so in that way, it was great. Um, but also to play under Coach O'Hara has been a great experience. He's really teaching me how to become a man instead of a boy. And um, I'm learning a lot of life skills and as well as basketball skills. And I get to, you know, lead a team and a fan base that's been very much behind us for four years. And I just want to continue to keep building it and hopefully have a great uh, end of my senior year. Uh, I'm glad that you talked about the fan base uh, because obviously you're going to go from one great fan base, although a very small community, right. to another great fan base up at Palo Alto and, and, and the Stanford Cardinal. Uh, obviously, you were on the radar of, of a lot of really high academic uh, schools, uh, but what felt right uh, about Stanford to ultimately make that decision for you? Well, Stanford um, is a dream school um, for a lot of kids. and uh, When they came into the picture, um, I you know, was very excited about it and the fact to play against the Pac-12 and um, against guys I've been going up against and some of the best competition. I love to compete um, against great guys and um, the academics and athletics, I mean, there's not much more you can get better wise and so I was I felt very lucky in that regard and uh, when I got that opportunity uh, I definitely made that choice right away oh what, what, uh, give me give me the short list I mean because uh, I mean obviously I know there were a lot of other great academic institutions right. on, on that list yeah. Yeah. I mean there were, there were a lot of uh, there were some great basketball schools athletics academic schools at the end I didn't even really make the list okay um, if I had the opportunity to go to Stanford in the summer I made that choice so that was kind of the dream school that was kind of the school okay. I, I had my eyes set on so there were a lot of great schools that I loved um, but at the end, it was, it was Stanford that I wanted to go to and had the opportunity to go to. Okay. Well, we wish you the best of luck, man. Thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate it.